Members of the Red Lake Band of Ojibwe are actively looking to manage a food shortage they say the tribe desperately needs to fix. Our Jackson Bruner tonight tells us about the difference gardening can make. The stores do carry um, varieties of vegetables and stuff like that, but you know we need uh, more access to that. Members of the Red Lake Local Food Initiative Group say a plan to grow and harvest local produce was inspired by what Native Americans across the country are doing. We're planting all organic, a lot of heirloom varieties, um, so we don't have to buy seed. Some of which they've already planted in the last month. So right now, uh, today, we actually end up putting some of the tomatoes that we end up having uh, uh, in the ground. We also got some heirloom varieties of uh, lettuce that are in the ground. Um, we have more plants coming um, later today that we're going to be implementing in, inside the high tunnel. The food they grow will be used to feed schools and other groups in the area. As part of a community garden, they're planting three types of corn. From a food security standpoint, that's what you really need to do. You need to grow different varieties. The group wants to use the garden to slow down health issues like diabetes, a condition that's drawn concern nationwide and on the Red Lake Reservation. The obesity rate in, uh, in the United States is, is outstanding. So, you know, trying to be able to focus and have access to uh, healthy, nutritional type foods is, is essential. Eventually, members of the initiative want to expand by growing even greater varieties of crops and maybe turning their efforts into a business. We're going to be taking, taking one year at a time, you know, pretty much in phases to where we uh, we focus on getting what we can accomplish here and then trying to be able to duplicate that and, you know, expand with the land uh, that we have available. We're able to be able to do that. In Redby, Jackson Bruner, Lakeland News. Project leaders say it's possible that some of what they grow could be marketed in grocery stores in future years, most likely in Bemidji. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.